When Andrew and I met, um, we were just mm. coming back from Nicaragua, um, following the defeat of the Sandinista Revolutionary Government. And it was um, a kind of a, like a crisis point mm. in, the, in the Solidarity Movement because a lot mm. of the uh, support in this country uh, was linked to you know, the Sandinista regime. After the triumph of the revolution in Nicaragua, after the civil war in El Salvador, it was, well, women, you've done your bit, now you can get back home. And mm. so women really were empowered to carry on the struggle because they had put their, they'd fought, mm. they'd taken up arms, they'd been involved in the struggle, and they weren't about to go back mm. to the kitchen. <laughs> mm. Corn was, uh, came together because we were a group of um, women who were involved in the women's sections of uh, different uh, solidarity campaigns of the Central America region. We had uh, become aware that there were so many common threads in the, way, in the struggles of the women in those countries that we wanted to come together to share what, uh, what was it, the, the unifying factor. CON is a London-based organization working in solidarity with women's organizations in Central America. It began as an informal network. I mean, for me, what's really important about the Central American Women's Network is that it's, first of all, it's feminist organization, and that to me is critical. It's very clear in its vision that it's working for political change, it's working for transformation. There was a need to have women's voices in the, in, in these, in the solidarity work. Uh, given that the majority of people coming were men and from the trade unions and you know, that was the only voice represented. After a couple of years, it was consolidated into a group and a formal organization and then raising money to have projects in the region and they just then started working with partner organizations. Our role is to, um, to be more on an advocate side and uh, promote the work that our partners do. I think Corn offers solidarity. It offers profile. It offers a kind of continuing presence here in the UK, highlighting women's rights issues in Central America. Right now we are focusing, as you can see, on economic rights and um, gender violence. Our main partners are in Nicaragua and in Honduras. El Movimiento Mujeres Trabajadoras y Desempleadas, María Elena Cuadra, tiene 16 años de fundado. Somos una organización autónoma, feminista, que eh, trabaja por promover los derechos de las mujeres y colocarlas en mejor posición y en mejor condición en la sociedad nicaragüense. CAUN ha sido una organización amiga de hace más de 12 años de trabajo y de conocimiento con el María Elena Cuadra. Ha apoyado eh, todo lo que es eh, la defensa de los derechos laborales y los derechos económicos de las mujeres nicaragüenses. Con ellas hemos incursionado en la defensa de los derechos de las mujeres trabajadoras de la zona franca e iniciamos un proceso de alfabetización económica para las mujeres nicaragüenses. Y todo ese apoyo y todo ese respaldo que Home nos ha, nos ha dado en, 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 en este esfuerzo este, se, se ve ahora reflejado en lo que se conoce in the agenda economic of women women Nicaraguenses. One of our significant achievements was within the Ethical Trading Initiative, which involved the big supermarkets and, and the company, all the companies and trade unions working together with the civil society. We got them to take on board the question of gender and uh, we helped produce gender guidelines. Corn played uh, a role in the ETI right from the beginning. 
were pushing to ensure that gender was incorporated throughout that audit methodology. And it's quite interesting now to look at ETI and you can see that they now actually run training sessions for supervisors on um, the management of tackling sexual harassment and discrimination. That's quite interesting to see. Según cifras manejadas por la Fiscalía de la Mujer, semanalmente se registran dos femicidios. Una joven de 17 años. Encuentran cuerpo de doméstica de 16 años en un barranco. La ejecutaron en el barrio Perú por una supuesta deuda. Y los femicidios continúan en aumento en el país. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es María Santos Isidro Flores, tengo 32 años de edad. Eh, tengo ya dos años de estar en el grupo de autoayuda porque soy una mujer sobreviviente de violencia doméstica darnos um, capacitación sobre la autoestima, es, um, golpes eh, que me ponían las otras mujeres en su frente, eh, no me daba de comer porque se iba con las otras mujeres y me dejaba sola con mis hijos. In Honduras, the project was more focused on violence against women and basically working together with women from community areas, women from indigenous communities, Garifuna women, Afrodescendant women, and how they come together to overcome their situation and how they transform their lives. Ya hoy me siento bien. Que lo que decimos ahí no, está, no, no, no se escucha en otra parte. Me siento más liberada. Ya antes hasta para ir a una reunión yo tenía que decirle a mi marido para dónde iba, qué hacer y todo eso ahora no. Que nosotros las mujeres también ya capacitadas tenemos que educar a los hombres también. El femicidio no es que una mujer muera de forma natural. Son todas las muertes violentas que expresan el odio que la cultura machista tiene en contra de nosotras. Cualquier mujer puede ser asesinada por ser una mujer. Aunque los datos nos indican que son las mujeres pobres las que más son víctimas del femicidio. Porque toda la sangre es la misma sangre. Paremos el femicidio. Alto la impunidad. 25 de noviembre. The political context in Central America is very challenging at the moment. Women came together to respond to the political crisis as feministas en resistencia. We work with big players like uh, our own government, the UK, but also the EU, uh, the UN. So in a way, we try to complement their work. We organize speaker tours, we work together with NGOs, with other women's organizations, and in a way, making sure their interests and their agenda is also included in the international agenda here in the UK. Looking over the experience over the last 20 years, I would say on balance, women here have gained more than what we have given to women there. The, the vision that you get from working with women's organizations in a, a region like Central America is that they are there really on the forefront of, of a battle. Every single aspect of their lives, day to day, their working lives, their home lives, their political lives, are on the front line of, of a struggle. So I think we have a huge amount to learn from them in terms of their persistence, their, their strength, their determination not to give in and to retreat to a sort of a quiet life in the corner somewhere. Did you, did you think that uh, we'd be here 20 years later? I uh, certainly mm. never thought, I never mm. imagined that we would be here 20 years later. No. <laughs>